Quill is an interesting thing. We don't work for industry necessarily, we work with industry to identify problems and then find ways to solve them. One of the focuses is to try and make industry cleaner and greener and put less impact onto the environment. Arctic liquid is a liquid made out of ions. It does what it says on the can, which means that you have got a totally new class of liquid, a totally new class of solvent, which allows us to investigate a whole range of industrial applications. Most people would be familiar with salt, sodium chloride. That contains a positive sodium ion and a negative chloride ion. And because they're so small, they have very high melting points. What we do is lower the melting point of this high melting point sodium chloride by changing the ions to make them bigger and uglier. And that gives us all sorts of special solvent properties. It means we can dissolve rocks, we can dissolve coal, we can dissolve bananas. In fact, there's almost nothing which is insoluble in ionic liquids. If you take two solids and mix them together, you usually end up with two solids. If we select those solids carefully so that when they mix together they form an ionic liquid, then you will get a process where two solids turn into a liquid phase. It's quite spectacular to watch. In the past we've had solvents, maybe 200 solvents, alcohol, ether, benzene and so on. We now have a million ionic liquids and we can then design the solvent for the process so that everything is much more efficient. Because we can design them to be non-toxic, because we can design them to be biodegradable, because we can design them to be green, then they are a solution to pollution because we're replacing toxic and explosive materials which are currently used by safe liquids which we've made by design to be suitable for any given process. Because our liquids have got no vapour, they don't burn, so they're very safe. One of the interesting applications of ionic liquids that we have been working on for the past few years is with a big petroleum company in Malaysia called Petronas. Uh, they had a problem that they wanted to remove mercury from their natural gas and the system they had wasn't very efficient and they tasked us to do that. Within just less than four years we had a process operating on site. Now that's more than twice as quick as normal and that is protecting the health of the workers on the plant and preventing explosions which have happened in the past. So it's really been a great success. I'm really delighted to say that Her Majesty introduced a new scheme whereby they, she gave awards for higher and further education and uh, we won that in 2006 and it's, it's the highest accolade in academia that you can get and we won that for the work that we're doing with ionic liquids. And then last year, the Institute of Chemical Engineers had an awards scheme. And that was the first time in 20 years of the awards that all three were won by one entry. The properties of ionic liquids are key to getting interesting new industrial applications. Intrinsically, we can design ionic liquids to be green, and we can design them to be sustainable. So we can produce now whole ranges of industrial applications which weren't available, let's say, 20 years ago. I see a very bright future for ionic liquids. They're the way to go for industry. Everyone believes that industry is dirty, nasty, and so on. We don't believe that, and we believe we can make it clean and green and efficient.